Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Tonight we're playing with our tipsy piggy recipe where I use my this little piggy pigments and I disperse them in alcohol. And then we are using mix pour as our pouring medium, which is a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna do another magic wand pour. So let's get started. This is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with my Prussian blue which is at the end of the can and it's just scraping a sponge along the inside of it to use up the rest of the leftover paint, which is awesome. Okay, let me show you my colors tonight. First, we are using a combination of Amsterdam titanium white and just a tiny little bit of satin enamels. We did another pour where I did the Tipsy Piggy recipe but using Liquitex gloss medium and Floetrol and there had some cracks in it. That one was a snowstorm, I think it was. And that one had a little bit of cracking in it. And I think partially that was because I used the satin enamel straight. I didn't mix it with the Amsterdam white. So this time I do have Amsterdam white and just a little bit of the satin enamels in there. So that one is a very nice white. I thought the cracks look cool. Yeah, they did. A lot of people like the cracks. So this is our white mixed with mix. There is no alcohol in this one. And the other one that has no alcohol is our other tube paint. This is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark, which I love this color. Beautiful consistency, nice and creamy and thick, leaving a mound on a mound and then sinking into itself. There is no water in any of these. This is just mixed pour and the paint. Okay, now we get into our piggies. This is this little piggy in ore, which is so beautiful. Such a gorgeous gold. Very, very similar actually to the DecoArt 24 karat. Beautiful. Nice and sparkly. And these are gonna dry even shinier and sparklier once the mix dries. The next one we have is Frost that I saw my sweet friend Sarah Mack using the other day. It was so pretty. Beautiful light blue, kind of icy looking. Very, very pretty. I'm excited about this one. To go with the frost, we are using sapphire, which is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Shimmer and shine on this when it's dry, it's amazing. You can see a little bit of that iridescence now while it's still very wet. But very cool stuff, I love this color. And then last but not least, I'm very excited about this one. This is Aphrodite, which is I guess just magical. <laughs> Such a beautiful color. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. This is from the Goddess series of This Little Piggy Pigments. Speaking of This Little Piggy Pigments, I hope you guys will check out our Piggy Love collaboration that's happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, February 5th and 6th, and then the weekend after that, February 12th and 13th. So we have a whole amazing lineup of artists for you guys, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. People have been doing some exceptionally beautiful work. Okay. So we're gonna be doing another magic wand pour. So I'm gonna be using two cups tonight. The last one that I did, Fossil, um, I had one big huge cup and it was a four cup cup and I wasn't as crazy about it. I had seen my friend Nate Bright from Nate Bright Art do a magic wand pour and he used four cups actually. And I wanna try that, this is a smaller canvas so we're gonna be using two cups tonight and I think it's gonna give us a really cool result. And we're going to layer these both. I have my magic wand here. This is the one that I used in Fossil. Turned out really, really neat. And we're gonna put this down on the canvas and we're gonna pour on top of it again. So let's layer our cups. We're gonna start with a little bit of white. And I'm gonna layer them both the same. And then we're gonna go into that frost. And then we're going to use some sapphire. That's so pretty. I love that. Okay, maybe a smidge more of sapphire. Because I want the blocks of color to show up. Now we're going to use some gold, the ore.
And then we're going to get into our permanent violet dark. And then Aphrodite. I'm going to put a little bit more gold on top of those. And then I think we're going to go sapphire again. on there. And a little bit of white. And then we're going to put some Aphrodite on top. Okay. Those are very full cups. <laughs> okay, we're going to move that over. Bring you over. That's a 20 by 20. Um, I think we're going to go diagonal. So I am actually going to put a line of my gold diagonally across the canvas. Okay. I don't quite expect that to do what it did in Fossil because it's not the 24 karat gold, but I think it should be pretty cool. So I'm going to turn that like that and we're going to put this like this right on there and kind of roll it just a little bit, just spread it out a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to start it over here. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. And we're going to do a straight pour tonight. I'm not going to do a ring pour. Here we go. Aphrodite with the permanent violet dark is so pretty. for the paint to run off either side of that. And we're going to decide what we're going to use as a flow extender while we get Baxter hair off of our canvas. <laughs> we do have some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic here in black. And it's nice and thin. I think we're going to use this as our flow extender. I'm just going to pour some around this. This is 
is to help our pour from sliding over itself. It's going to help it slide nice and easy on the rest of the canvas. Notice I'm not picking up the magic wand right away because I want to give it a chance to get all the paint that's on the magic wand to slide off. Okay. Oh, that's not too thin. There's kind of a lot on there. Just gonna push some of it extra off. I don't want too much flow extender. Okay. Now we're going to take it off. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yep. Here we go. That's pretty cool. Put that right there. And let it dry. Now I'm going to turn this around. And we're going to spread this side out. on there. We want just enough to allow our paint to slide and leave easy. Okay. Let's give this a torch. some loop-de-loops in here. What do you think, HOA? Sure. Okay. Let's see. Let's That looks awesome. Let's tilt this baby out and see what happens. Okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's find where the weight of the paint is. Let me go down this way first. Yet, so we're going to go back in the opposite direction first. I'm going to head over towards that corner a little bit. Because I do want to just go over this edge. And this corner real fast. Take some of that off right there. And we're going to bring 
bring it back down. I'll let that float down. See how that flow extender just slid right off nice and easy. And it's stretching this paint out. So pretty. I think the biggest difference between this one and the first Magic Wand pour that I did, Fossil, was that with that one I used one really big cup. So I ended up with a lot of paint on one side. Whereas with this one, using two cups, sort of help distribute the paint a little bit more easily. So I didn't get that zigzaggy fish skeleton from trying to tilt out the paint and stretch it. It's much more uniform. I'm actually okay with leaving some negative space on this one if we wanna do that. But let's see what happens. of the surface of Jupiter. Hmm. There's a bit of paint sliding still, so we're just going to let it go right off the edge there. So I'm okay with taking a little bit more off. You see how fast it's moving? still moving really fast, it's perfectly good to take off a little bit of extra because you don't want to leave too much on there. You don't really invite your painting to crack. It's never something that we want. crazy about is that gold corner right there. So I'm just going to take what's in my cup and I'm going to actually do a little bit of a 
interesting I do really like the negative space though I feel like it makes all those colors really pop and I can see on the edge of the plaque there's that frost and there's the ore and the sapphire so I'm glad we had the white in here and the permanent violet dark because that's really giving us that opacity to allow the piggies to really sparkle and shine and I think it's gonna be a good thing when this is dry. But I'm already seeing a lot of shimmer on here. It's really pretty. I need to go over just this way just a little bit. Just to open up this section in here. this. A lot of really interesting things happening and I'm really I, I am loving these colors okay, bring you still. Yeah. Um, I love Aphrodite it's such a beautiful beautiful color and that permanent violet dark the two of them next to each other is really cool I love that like right in there where we're seeing those little cells pop up it's really pretty we love the sapphire with the frost and in these areas is really cool with a little bit of white the aura is really beautiful. There's some pops of it coming through in here. And I like this edge where you see the frost against the black and I like the gold on there. That really faint bit of sapphire. Pretty. Pretty. Okay. There's something in my paint right here. A bit of dried something or other. Okay. That looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna take this and just cover up that spot that we just made and let it run over the edge. And that's looking pretty good. What do you think, HOA? Yeah. Like I I, <coughs> I completely agree with you about the way that, that ragged edge looks. It's really cool. On the bark. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, I'm not entirely sure this one will be dry in time to show you guys tomorrow, but I will show you its progress tomorrow. And uh, if not, then I will definitely show you the dried results in the next video. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I really appreciate you. We'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful evening. Okay, so this is actually the next day and it dried pretty quickly. It's not completely dry, but it's getting there. So I'm that really, really pretty. I love these colors. That Aphrodite is just amazing. And the sapphire next to that permanent violet dark. And a little bit of white. We only put one layer of white in each cup. And that's how much came out. So be careful with your white. But it is important for that pop, especially to have contrast against the other colors. I like that edge a lot. Just a little bit of it that's not quite dry on that side. It is so windy here today. I really hope you guys can hear me. So, HOA said this one looks like Jupiter. And I think it does. So we're going to call this one Jupiter's Edge. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here with me, you guys. I really do appreciate you hanging out with us and all your lovely comments. And, um, you know, you guys are awesome. 
Uh, make sure you guys check out our Piggy Love collaboration this coming weekend, February 5th and 6th. I will be showing mine on the 6th with uh, Charmin Khan from Milky Way Design and Skylar. And uh, mine's going to go 10.30 on Sunday, Los Angeles time, so Pacific time. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. I hope you guys can see that bling on there and how it's really sparkly. <laughs>